Um, and I do have one announcement. Uh, we'll just go ahead and, and do that before we uh, get to the agenda. The Board of County Commissioners reappointed Billy uh, Brown to this board last Tuesday night in their meeting. So this will be his second one-year term. And uh, he's our liaison with, with many things and many people. And one of them is, of course, the restaurant industry and uh, Easter Bench here at the end. So and, and we try not to ever hold our hand out to him for something to go in it, but to partner. Okay, so that's that's kind of our motto on, on this board anyway. If that, and that works for y'all, don't it, Ben? Yes. Yeah. I may have to start delegating here. Yeah, there you go. Okay, I'll, and we're called to order. Uh, do I have a motion to approve the minutes? So moved. We hear second. Second. All right. All in favor? Okay. Uh, do I hear a motion to approve the agenda? Motion to approve the agenda as written. Thank you. I'll do I hear a second? I'll second that. Thank you. I've got a Billy B and a Billy D. Y'all gonna get me confused right now. You yeah. can't be that too, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I know Rebecca Darling is out of town. She ain't her usual. But here's the report. short report. Uh, Total cash available. Well, total cash in the bank on the first sheet you can see is ninety-two thousand two forty-six seventy-seven. Um, total cash available for expenditures for the entire year one hundred fifty-nine eight zero one ninety-two, and that is that is so so positive from where we were last year and the year before last. And if you're going down to where she's got us highlighted. We have um, a positive vari variance in the tax collected, taxes collected of almost $5,000. That's and wonderful. Yes, isn't it? That, and also, I will tell you that our sales tax for the county, um, it, and how we measure it is if it the month for the same year before, and it is also running ahead. So we are just thrilled. Uh, to see that positive movement. Okay. And then on the second page, um, the ideal percentage left in the budget is 62%. Uh, and as if you will look all the way to the bottom, you will see that we were already within 2% of that. So overall, it, we have a good variance there as far as uh, percent remaining and in our social media we have uh, overshot the budget there but I'm, I'm pretty sure that we all are aware of the reasons well i think what's that. happening is there's something in the accounting system that it needs one more month because i think the expenditure item is like ten thousand six hundred for insights in our utility our web utilities is that line, is that a line item on here yeah ten thousand where is it well, it's not, it's not, right now it's showing as 6726, but when her and I talked this past week, she saw where it should be 10,600, and so there's something that's in the system that, just like last month where there was all these, you could see it in one and the other, and she said it would take a month to fix itself. I think this is one of those that would take a month to fix itself. Okay. We'll look at that for the next one. Welcome, John. Well, no wonder. Hey. How, how have we overshot? It says we still have 4,100. Yeah, that's a negative chance to be overshot if we use the expenditures like for all insights. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so we have to be careful. That's not like a red line negative. It is a good negative. <laughs> okay. Because instead of the percentage of 252 being spent, it's a minus two. Right. Okay. All right. Good. Hello. All right. 
Good. Okay, do we have anybody for public comment? Yeah, we should. Have. Let's make it double. So I'll, just, I'll just not even go back there. You don't think Megan has something to say? <laughs> you don't have anything to say, do you, <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go ahead and excuse myself for a few minutes, and then I will be back. I have a granddaughter appointment delivery, so I will be back, John, okay? Okay. Don't try to leave without me, John. We're going to carry on. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. I know. Tap the, you're gonna finish what do we do now? Social or her, uh, what I'm going to do real quick, guys, is um, you've got your minutes, is the first thing that you're signing in and communicating. Okay. Um, you're going to and then the next two items that are here are the letters that were asked of me to go ahead and get ready for your signature. The first one is that RHS day of hearing for 2015 and their, um, how we wanted to send a letter to the school. And then your other one is for the wilderness um, designation. So oh, you drew a sub -sign. Great. Yeah, yeah. Good. And I'll, I'll go ahead and just read that one real quick. So, um, dear, this is to the Matahala Pisca National Forest Plan Revision and the Asheville address <coughs> regarding wilderness designation in Grand County, North Carolina. Dear sirs and madams, the Grand County Travel and Tourism Authority would like to communicate at their meeting on Thursday, November 19th, and do hereby support the Grand County Board of Commissioners Resolution 1117015-1 Wilderness Resolution. That states the North Carolina, uh, the Grand County Board of Commissioners is strongly opposed to any additional wilderness areas or any designations of our streams, rivers, or wild and scenic rivers in Grand County. The Grand County Travel and Tourism Board supports this resolution and would like to communicate in this letter that the addition of wilderness land and the restrictions that accompany the wilderness de designation would be damaging to the tourism industry in Grand County. Thank you for your consideration to the issue supported by vote this 19th day of November 2015 with uh, each line item there. Okay. So I'll pass that around for you guys to sign up. Are y'all familiar with what she's talking about? Okay. Quickly, it's, uh, they want to annex us for national forests so that we can't do well, so we can't do anything. Uh, so I'll uh, we'll make like that official. Believe like everybody's sort on everybody's on board with this. Yeah. Uh, so I make a motion. We support this letter. Things does say by a vote on here. That we adopt the resolution. We'll adopt the, the resolution of the county commissioners and send this in to our who we sent to our four service people. Yeah, I've got a, a thing here, it's got the address on it. Okay. Yeah, and it goes to the Zillicoya address. Zillicoya. Okay. I second that motion. All in favor? Good. That was Billy and Ramonda. director's report, I did include on the back part of your agenda the upcoming meetings and upcoming events. Um, there was just one thing that was left out of the upcoming events for you guys. But I'll, I'll let you know what that is when I get to it. Um, I'm going to take a day of vacation this next Wednesday, November 25th. Kathy will be in the office that day. Um, the great board, um, the great organization has a conference in Berea, Kentucky that we're going for another round of grant funding. Um, we'll be leaving, to my knowledge, Monday night and we'll be back sometime on Thursday. Um, that is the same group that we met with last time that gave us the money for the Comprehensive Travel and Tourism Plan and the implementation funds. Is this something that we've already approved for you to go to? And it was great funding all this? Great funding all of it. Oh, okay. so nothing will be out of our budget. Nothing. No, they just needed, you know, they've partnered, I think somebody from the Forest Service goes from the towns. There's about six of you as well. Yeah, yeah. About the same kind of group um, as last time. Okay. And there's a department head meeting on Wednesday, December 9th. I'm not sure if we're still going to hold that because I don't know if there'll be a county manager by then. But Kim Chris filled in the last time we had one of those, so I would say that we'll pretty much have one of those. Um, we did have um, the Solly Adventure Triathlon on November 14th. 
and the lodging specials are there, all the lodges. I, I did not hear from Blue Waters about any kind of a Thanksgiving lodging special, but all the lodges are having Thanksgiving dinner with, um, with lodging specials and special events on property. Um, additionally, Fontana Village Resort will also have Christmas and the Smokies in December, and they'll also have New Year's Eve um, festivities with uh, dinner, champagne, toast, music, and all that uh, for New Year's Eve. Um, to Hope Lodge, their restaurants have scaled back hours now. We try to do a pretty good job of uh, relaying that to travel uh, tourists and um, social media posts, um, as well as getting that out to, um, I recommended that they get that out to the newspapers. I think there was probably an ad in the past couple of newspapers for that. Um, Snowbird Mountain Lodge sold out. It was even, I think, at our last last week's meeting, well before then. Their wine dinner that was on November 13th, it was sold out probably three weeks ahead of it even being held. And uh, they'll be having, they'll be closing on November 29th. Um, you have on yours it says Tacoma Valley Center, the Arts and Drive About. The dates were left off on yours. If you want to add November 27th and 28th. And then the next line that's missing is Tacoa Valley, and I had to just um, make sure about one of the uh, items about their breakfast with Santa, and then their Christmas in the mountains that they hold at the gallery. So there's a, an additional event there on December 5th, and they're going to have breakfast with Santa. It's a $5 uh, per person cost, followed by the gallery open up for any Christmas shopping later in the day. And then the partners of Joyce Kilmer will have a uh, Joyce Kilmer Memorial Forest hike on December 9th. So those are the um, meetings and events. The um, networking industry and other TDAs um, got a, an email from Melissa Reardon, who's the editor of Western North Carolina Magazine. She was searching for January and February items for the magazine. Um, tried to get as much information to her. So I think we are, we'll probably put some sort of a calendar thing together for her so that it's almost like a month and a half is when she's wanting those events. So we'll, we'll probably, once we get our event calendar set up, we'll probably schedule some things on the calendar to be sure those go out to her. Um, which leads me to, we need to have an event sooner than later. Last year, I think we waited all the way until January. We're probably going to need to have that earlier since Teresa Garland is only working a hard time with Robbinsville. Um, and we need to get some event dates for two or three years in advance, like um, the June Alaska Wreath Lane, the Trail of Tears Walk, the Hill Climbs, if we can go ahead and get some projected dates for two or three years. That will allow the state to get us in some um, publications with the New York PR people, the Atlanta PR people that they work with. We go ahead and put those on the calendar. So that's going to be one of the object objectives for get, having the event planning meeting and trying to get some of those big event dates hammered out. Um, I attended the Swain TDA meeting and um, had some very interesting insight from that meeting. Lots of and lots of notes give you a heads up. They were very forthcoming, willing to share their models, whatever's good for Graham County is good for Swan County because we do, you know, they don't have as much hiking and um, bicycling trails and things as what we do. So they do send a lot of people over to the Joyce Kilman Forest, to Fontana Dam, um, to the Cherokee Skyway, and to a lot of our fishing places over here as well. So um, we spend for our lights campaign, I think that's a dollar a day. No, we did three, that's what it used to be. We used to be a dollar a day, now we're three dollars a day, so we do about a hundred dollars a month. Swain spends fifteen dollars a day on their lights campaign. They're up to 82,000 fans right now. I remember when I took over three years ago, they had about 10,000 fans. So that kind of puts in perspective. Spending some money on a lights campaign can grow the people and of course you target the ad, the lights ad, to the demographic that you're trying to pull to your location. So something to kind of think about for next year's budget that we might even want to increase our 
lights campaign there. They also spend about $200 a month on boosted posts. So like if they're having a festival or event or some parade or the Polar Express is their big thing right now, they also spend about $200 on boosted posts to get that out to that kind of demographic. Um, I think Marianne shared with us that we're about 17 cents per like, that are 18 cents per like is what each one of those likes cost us. Um, Snapchat is something, it's a, a social media concept that um, more and more destinations are just having a board on Snapchat so that younger people can find the destination. They opened up an account for Bryson City. I think um, Marianne and I, when we talked after the meeting, we're going to go ahead and open up an account for Robbinsville, Lake Santee, and Fontana Dam because those are our three cities. Swain County only has one city, so that's why they only have the one account. <coughs> they were approved by Google for their backtrack tracker. It's a really cool piece of technology. It's a backpack harness that goes on your back. And above you, there is a ball that can do video 360 degrees as you're hiking. And um, on their request, they went ahead and put a lot of our trails. So if somebody is on the other side of the world and they want to see what it's like to hike the AT section from Wesser to Stokoa Gap, they can go watch this video that this Google tracker will provide. There's still an opportunity, I think, that we might be able to add some of your trails to it. And I had mentioned a couple of other trails, like they didn't even put 20 mile on there, and that's in their county, not ours. So that was another area that I thought they might want to try and get, you know, add a few more things. Um, they, um, all kinds of really cool stuff, but um, I think they're paying about 45,000 to the county for their chamber building, and I didn't catch the, the detail for what they're paying for the museum to the county. They have about a $600,000 budget, if I'm not mistaken. Um, they talked a lot about some of the advertising expenses that they're gonna be doing, and again, I'm just gonna be putting this into our budget file, so we can ask about what really worked for them so we might be able to do a better job of spending our money since you know, they're doing such a good job of growing their destination. We'd like to kind of copy some of the things. What well, percentage doing. rate do they have to charge? Are they, are they a full they're six? Four. They're four. Their 3% four. goes to fund the travel and tourism, and then the 1% is spread out in designated projects. And from what I understand, if we ever went up on our occupancy, we would have to designate what that 3% would go towards. So, you know, you could say beautification and trail cleanup and trail maintenance signage or you could say wayfinding signage, or you could say visitor center, um, so certain types of projects. So that was kind of, uh, and they said they would be willing to share with us how they uh, verbalized their resolutions and stuff to go uh, through the legislation. Did they have any chain hotels? Uh, yeah, they've got a few. Uh, they've got a they've got sleeping, um, God. Like they brought another one there in town. But the majority of their stuff is food from cabins. That's mm -hmm. unbelievable. <coughs> yeah. So they've got a good collection rate, too. Oh, yeah. That train it's brings train. in a fortune. Probably had more than you think, though. Yeah. Yeah. They make their money off the train. The train. I've talked to some of the hoteliers over there and stuff, and they said, we make our money off the train. That train, they did the Polar Express now, too, and stuff. Mm -hmm. Keeps them busy in the winter. Mm -hmm. So. And just like at Dillsboro up there, when he lost the trade up there, he kind of lost all our business. Yeah, killed the baby yeah. retail businesses. Yeah. And then, same thing, Bryce said, if they lose the trade. So, where does the train go to Bryson now? What does it do? Where's it depends on what kind of train ride you're going on, if it's a dinner train. Some of them go up in Nine Hill. Yeah, some of them go to the Forge and back. Yeah. And that's it. Polar Express. Because it used to go from Dillsboro to end of Bryson, didn't it? I think the dinner uh, trains will make more of that longer ride. Well, is that, is it still, it don't stop in Dillsborough. It's no, still uh, through Dillsborough. I don't know if it goes to or not. Sometimes it, it stops through. in Dillsborough for a shopping trip. I believe they but, stopped the stop in Dillsborough, or we're going to. Because I know it's hurt. Right. Uh, so they had some kind of problem with Dillsborough people. Like, they pulled their stores. <coughs> so really there's like only the chocolate shop, a few restaurants. 
That's why Bryson has that foot trap. It's because I always stop that train in the middle of town making an excuse to sit there for two hours and say, they'll find something to do. So they dump all those people out. They have nothing to do while they're in the town for two hours. They spend money. And Bounce just out. like um, she shared with us, like their, their largest posts, that clean men's dome post that she did, it reached 84,000 people. Clingman's Dome. Clingman's Dome. And it's all she was talking about is that you need to try and get up there because it closes December 1st. Their second highest post was about Deep Creek. And they get a lot of uh, remarks on Deep Creek like we do Tail of the Dragon and the Cherry Head Skyway. That one got yeah. 61,000. <laughs> uh, I just saw Billy. People engaged in that one. So that's just some interesting, and I can share more with you guys if you want to hang out afterwards. I can I can go over those notes um, with you. That was pretty cool. No, figure out how to get our budget up there. Well, well, I know. We well, I did. I figured out if we did go up to six, and all the other towns are at six, we would be three hundred sixty-one thousand dollars. I don't know. Very towns were six percent. Six percent countywide on town. Wow. And then so we would be doing more of a collaborative effort. Of, you know, let's all kind of pitch in on these acts. Go to Mecklenburg, it's 21. I mean, that's Charlie. Oh, yeah. 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 I mean, How are they doing that? Because I thought the state camp was six. They got in before that was established. Oh, you're kidding. Wow. I believe they've got a food tax that's part of that, too, don't they? NASCAR tax, restaurant tax. Oh, I know they've got the NASCAR, but that all goes to NASCAR, though. Tax. Of course, that's part of their That's yeah, part yeah, of the travel tax. Wow. Yeah, big, big stuff there. So build a train, build a racetrack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, the other meeting I attended, which was really enlightening, and you guys have the uh, Grand County statistics sheet, was the Western Carolina uh, Conference on Tourism. And um, so again, Dr. Morris had um, a few speakers coming in, um, gathered some good notes there. Again, there's some people from the state that came this time that didn't come last time, so it was good to kind of solidify and get some more relationships with the people at the state level. I also went ahead and picked up statistic sheets for all of our seven counties in western North Carolina. So what I'll probably do is scan all of them in, attach it to an email, and then you guys can take a look at that and, and see kind of how we're comparing to some of the other counties. We did, we did fair bad uh, this past year, not like the year before, where we were just above flat. Um, the last thing, I did get a, a notice from Smoky Mountain Host. They have their annual meeting on um, December 1st. This is something Jeannie and Dr. used to go to all the time. I don't know if you can see it. I did Jeannie take the secretary? I think so. Yeah, it says it did. Okay. So if any of you would like to attend that meeting, that'll be when I'm up in Berea, Kentucky. It's $50 per person. I can still um, get a reservation in for you. And sometimes people are willing to carpool. I know usually. Beth or somebody from Stacoa Valley will go over. Um, there's a couple of people that go, I can't think who it is that come to mind. I think the people from Tobacco might be going this time. You might want to see if they want to go and carpool. But and where is it? It'll be? This is going to be Fry Mont Inn, so it'll be closer to us. It'll be in Bryson City. So that, that'll be really good food. That's, that, that inn has a really good um, restaurant inside of that. So, let me know if any of you guys would like to attend so I can get you registered. I think it'd be a good idea if some of us could. I think somebody should go. The information is invaluable. I'm not there. I can. Do you want to go to Montana or do you want to go to Tulsa? If nobody else is going to go, but I can do it. Smoky Mountain Host. Yeah, I don't think. Do any of you want to go? Not me. I'm too busy. I'm going to be yeah. out of town. Because I'll go. Yeah. And I can represent the board. Right. And I don't have to go as Fontana. So. Right. Okay. Yeah. 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 We're, we're small. I'm covered up. Okay. Yeah, so y'all getting great going? Okay. I am. I'll get you registered. I'll take gills. You know what day that is by chance? It's the first. So oh, you need to go ahead and look Tuesday. Tuesday. Okay. That's fine. Are you good? Yeah. Okay. Um, as far as local industry relationships, the uh, wintertime audit is going on right now, and if you guys will go ahead and take a look, um, it's 
Please back here in your package is full ways and how it's on the sections. This was the uh, accommodation insert that goes inside of our Graham County brochure. And instead of having it redesigned by Dina, I went ahead and took it by myself to get it entered in. <coughs> and we're still waiting on calls back from a few of these lodging partners to find out if they have pets, handicap accessible, tents, cabins, uh, groups, uh, a number of different things. Uh, last minute, some of the ones that are in yellow, we did find out the uh, the accommodation, the, the real estate office that's the property manager, they no longer have those properties on their website. So what I have to do is find out who the owner of that cabin was to make sure they're not renting it on their own. Because if they're renting it on their own, they need to be able to them. So every time we find a cabin, we have to find out who the owner is to see if they sold it, if they're now retired in it, or if they're doing it on their own. So um, that, that's a big part of this wintertime audit. Um, which then I have to add and remove people from the website and add and remove people from visitancy.com. We have already sent out about 10 letters, or I've asked Becky and Peggy to send out about 10 letters. Um, and then as far as product development, if you'll flip um, back behind that one, I was going to say vacation guide for those with disabilities. Um, this is finished up until I was at the Western Carolina Conference and I found out that wild water rafting, which makes me think now I need to also call NOC and everybody down there that's a real reputable rafting company. They are adaptive in zip line, rafting, and jeep tours which means anybody in a wheelchair that is quadra or paraplegic, they have adaptive devices where they can have the same outdoor experience as anybody else. So that's um, one last thing that I'll be adding to this um, disabilities vacation itinerary. A lot of people, you know, they might, you know, it, it was inspired really because of Steve. Some people aren't just in a wheelchair or walking with a cane, they might have COPD or they might have arthritis and they might not be able to walk as far, but they still can walk some. So that's kind of what this is trying to help out. And I can tell you, Swain County can get a fitness itinerary in a couple of magazines down in Atlanta. I think I should be able to get a disabled itinerary um, down to those same publications. So Ellen Snodgrass from Deep Creek Arts is going to give me those connections and let me submit my itinerary to the same publications, which that means there's no advertising expense. We just get free, uh, and that's a great return on investment for something that we just did for free. We also have the other five or six itineraries that hopefully we'll get up on the website, and we can make them take a look at those as well. Um, well, so Yellow Creek Falls is a short hike, and last time I was up there, there was a man with one leg that done that. So, I mean, it is okay. amazing. And, and Spirit Ridge on the Chair Headlet is another really great one. What's that other thing that's sort of flat? That one's going on the ball with the over. Isn't it probably straight out? Mm -hmm. Flat out towards that? Yeah, and no, just, you've got to find those little short hikes like that. And then Maple Springs, that's, that one's only 900 feet to walk out to that overlook. So we, we've got some great stuff. The fishing Pier, did you build that one on Lake Santilla in the um, Mass Bridge area? That, that fishing pier is paved all the way down to it. So I think that one was done shortly after Frank Finley. Yeah. And Jack. Yeah. He sure was. He was key in getting that done. Yeah. Um, as far as staff and volunteers, Kathy has an appointment on Monday, November 30th to see if she's going to have to have some surgery. So I'll keep you guys apprised of that as we find out. And then uh, we'll turn back again to the social media report real quick. It kind of looks like this. Before we leave this page, yes. I have some questions. Okay. Um, it says uh, motels, lodges, resort, bed, breakfast. You know, I see we're listed. What's the little house situation? That means that you have cabins for rent. That, yeah, and see where I kind of put G for groups. There's a brown bar down here at the bottom. Right. That's not done because as I keep having to take people off and add them on, I just didn't put the finished bar down there on the bottom. 
but they're the little um, icons will have their little designation. So the first column on the hotel lodges, resort bed, the third column is tent camping, and the fourth column is handicap accessible. Right. We're all that. Okay, so you do have wheelchair accessibility. Oh yeah. And you are pet friendly. No. Yeah, we're that's all. But we have pets, but we're not pet friendly. Okay. You and, don't I have a and I believe about there might be handicapped accessible too. They would give us a right permit without being handicapped exactly. accessible. Exactly. I think the old ones got grandfathered in, but anybody knew, like Rivers Edge, that's why they had to build one that's handicapped. Most accessible. of the people that come to see us are grandfathers, so you know, just go ahead. Because Tuskegee and two wheeler both on one level, there are no so you can wheel right up to. I just don't know if they're doorways or what. I'm waiting to hear back from sure them. Some of these I haven't heard back from people. Like I haven't heard from Sam Ryan or Smoky Mountain Mansion. But now um, Barry's so Barry is new enough that he should probably yeah. handicap access. Yeah, I would say so. He is, and he's I would also. So. Uh, I think he's in. He's got tent places. Yeah. It's got. It says tents, but it doesn't uh, show that he has rooms or yeah. cabins. I don't know what. Does yeah. he have cabins or is he's got a house or something, doesn't it, that they rent? That's right, he does have a house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you guys want me to put that down when people might think like that? Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, under campgrounds, I, you know, hate say we have camping. Yeah. You know, then it's embarrassing. Okay. And then, too, I don't know if you could do this, um, Blue Waters, of course, the bed and breakfasts are Gibbons, uh, Fontana. Uh, and soon Barry will have his restaurant open. Mm -hmm. There are several on here that have food on site. There, if you could do some kind of an icon, yeah. that's a good idea. Sure. Yeah, yeah food is yeah. important around here because right. people it's don't realize desolate. how desolate right. people are. You may not have to go this far. M maybe, okay. maybe do a spoon and fork. Isn't that what you see on the four lines yeah. when yeah. you see uh -huh. something okay. like that? And what about a key saying what all the symbols mean? Yeah, that's yeah. going to be down right down here. I'm going to okay. have a brown bar. Well, what's this up at the top? But yeah, you know, it doesn't say what it's they just, all have, but not so It's just are. decorative because the other one has a bar. Yeah. It's just lost and found. Yeah, that's right. We got <laughs> well, what I was saying is you could, you've already got your icons <laughs> here. Yeah, you could put the <laughs> labeling under. I can find better ones for like the Hotel Lodge Resort Bed and Group designation that I have there is somebody that has a room, like Microtel has that room, that group can you conference. Conference type room because if you're looking for groups, they're looking for an area that they can meet and congregate before they go do whatever they do for the day. Mm -hmm. so I don't know about that group thing because everybody I know will take groups. You know. No, she's yeah, talking about having a designated meeting. Or change it maybe to a conference room. But conference abilities. Possibly something like that. Like a lot of these places, other places have something like that. Like Blue Water's got that big area and all that area. stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if. I'll have like, to ask her if she's I'm willing sure to, to shut down, like for a group. I'm sure she is. Yeah, of course she is. That's what. That's but, how I, I think what Billy's saying is that all these places can take groups. What, what yeah. we might want to change that to is conference room areas or yeah, class somebody. Somebody. Yeah, because it just says tight groups, everybody. Because right. groups could be just 15 people that just want right. to sit there. Family uh, reunion, whatever. So I'll see what the... Well, we need to look at River's Edge, too. They're not listed as anything other than wheelchair accessible. So, I mean, all yeah, of those need to be looked at. I don't think they don't have extra cabins because they are cabins. Yeah, and they don't have tent camping. Because a few of these Appalachian right. has nothing. Yeah. You know, Buffalo Creek has nothing. I haven't heard from... Um, uh, Becky about her being handicap accessible for pets, but on the website, I'm finding out that some of our places that are pet, they're now telling me no, they're not. So I'm having to go ahead and change that stuff on the website as well, and then add some people that now said they're pet friendly. So well, I know when I get mine up and going, I will be pet friendly, but I'm going to be small pets. Yeah, and that's what you know. You better put a number when you put on the table. Are you going to do it by weight? You're going to go by weight when you see small pets? Yeah, by the, by the door. I don't know. Sometimes Probably. little buggers do more damage than the big ones, but too. Yeah. Be careful. Oh, yeah. that. <laughs> they get on your bed, for sure. And yes. then service dogs. I'm not sure if yeah. we've ever established this, but you can't, you can't turn this any, Anywhere. They can go. They can walk right in here. They yeah. can walk in your restaurant. You cannot. You cannot. You cannot. Anyway, yeah, it doesn't even need to be stated. Yeah, yeah. It's just <laughs> it's not worth it. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> my last place, I got a stack of a lawsuit that's this deep because they'll come in and they'll pick your whole place apart if they if they wrap you out. Mm -hmm. You gotta be real careful with them. Yeah, somebody can't run them up. No, no. They say that for chip on, they don't even ask. You them. just have to have paperwork. It's yeah. one thing. Yeah, it's like now, I'll tell them. Yep, you yeah, need paperwork. Yeah. Just yeah. because you got a little suit on them, I can go make a suit. Yeah, right. there you go. Yeah. Get that on because everybody starts saying, we run outside, everybody starts saying, well, this is service I have. You got to be careful. And you can't charge them extra for it either. Yeah. You know? That's like, so. I have, I've had a hip replacement, and my orthopedist gave me a card. He said, you'll have to have this when you fly. Well, apparently you can buy them on the internet too, because I get checked really? from head to toe. Yes. I get fleeced from head to toe because it picks up. Yeah. The trickiest one is therapy dogs. People will pull. Oh, I have a therapy dog. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For it's mental difficult. comfort, and you got to be careful. What I did was I said, just go. It's not worth the fight sometimes. Yeah. You just have to be careful. Especially if they start breaking down crying in front of you. <laughs> we did. We had one guy quit and leave. And he was crying. Huh? Hey. We wouldn't take his pet. You heard his feelings. Oh, wow. yeah. Well, there's a lot of veterans that I think are going to be having more and more service dogs. To, they can sense PTSD when they yep. start it's having anxiety. It's become a real trend. Uh, they come up and just start licking them and putting their hand underneath their uh, hand. Their comfort. Underneath their comfort hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, we're waiting to hear from a lot of people on that. So it's not ready to go out. Well, all right, well, I think you should look at that real carefully because... And I need to find the vernacular in our industry that would... Some designation that everybody will know means it's an extra room where you can meet. Yeah, conference, conference. is a good yeah. word. Yeah. yeah, meeting, you know, that kind meeting of thing. Meeting space, uh -huh. yeah. Um, but this looks good. You've done a good job, John. Yeah, we're getting there. This uh, social media report, you guys don't need for me to read this. You know, everything's up. Everything's coming along just fine. So if you ever do have questions, Marianne's just an email away. If you even have questions about your own social media account. She was my teacher before we hired her, and that's how I kind of got us started. So she's, she's good at just giving some lessons, too. So um, things to think about that with her up there. Next. Okay. And then in the very back of your packet, there are, there's one thing to just for you guys to look at and two things to see if you want to go ahead with those expenditures. So if you'll pull to the back of those packets, and again, it's after the two letters that we signed. The first one is this, it looks like this. And I promise you again, it's just education as we're going through this. This is a, a PR company. And it lists everything she did. I think I sent this out on the 14th, or no, just the other day. I sent something earlier than that. She usually charges $5,500 for her services. This is 2,500 bucks. She has over 6,000 media contacts that she puts PR hit sheets out to. So something that just, as we get closer to budget, thinking about PR donations, kind of like social media, um, content specialist, PR specialist. On the next thing, about two meetings ago, Nancy had uh, forwarded this email to me from Aaron Sapp from FootRx in Asheville, and there are three events that will be taking place this upcoming year. You can see it's January 16th, March 5th, and the other dates to be determined. Um, it's sponsorships of these races. The very last uh, paragraph, you'll see that sponsorship levels range from 500, 750, and 1,000. And it's payable to their nonprofit. So since they have a nonprofit status, it would be tax deductible. So, did you guys remember getting this email, or do you need a chance to just read over that real quick? I like the idea of it simply because the first two dates um, are um, the some of our slow, time. slow times, and it would. Uh, as a matter of fact, um, I've been on the phone this morning. My daughter and I ran the harvest race in Cherokee the last Saturday in October, and I got the name of the uh, event uh, coordinator there, Glory Hounds, and I've talked to that guy this morning about possibly uh, organizing a Veterans Day run next November and uh, making it some kind of a three-day or at least a two-day event so we can get people in here on a Friday night so they'd stay all night. Is it so, just a plain, like, A to B race, or is it like got obstacles, or how, what kind of race do they No, do? they just do races. 
It's like five times right, right. Yeah, we'd do a five and a ten. Okay. And most sometimes they do a kitty one mile fun run or grandparents and little kids they'll let them go last. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's sponsorships that says one ship's level is five hundred and seven fifty or a thousand. Are these per event or would the five hundred say cover all three? No, I'd say it's per event. Well now no, we need to know. We talked That's about this too. Fontana's technically the only one that's in Graham County, right? Mm hmm Well, Solly is in Graham County as yeah. well. It's just it's more recognized it's, with Bryson City. It's closer to Bryson. But we have the facilities and they have the trails. It's the way that the way the boundary lies. Well, it's charging me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Don't uh, worry we wish we could. Well, that's what I'm saying. But there's just something up. Instead of giving them money, then why can't we get some money on it? Well, it's for service. It's for service. Right, okay. um, all right, so let's look at I'm our budget. For, you know, I'm all for it staying in the county, Montana Scott. Yeah, I mean, I think if I were to yeah. put in for sponsorship levels, I think I would try and have, like, at least one of the events, the pickup packet, you know, somewhere in our county, not always at... Oh, yeah. NOC or no, yeah, right. and, that, okay. Okay. and that's what I talked to this guy about this morning. Fix our swag bags again, put our coupons okay. in there, and, and hopefully the, the, the runners would at least eat Friday night when they're here. But if not, they've come, and what we would like to do, and I talked to Jeremy Wade at the Forest Service, uh, because Keith Hill has already laid out a, a, a half marathon. He, this guy, he, this, this, that's all he does is promote these runs. Yeah. He says by November, December, most runners are worn out. Yeah. And uh, it's been a long yeah, season. a full and a half marathon is just too much. So he said five or ten k, but uh, to to map it out some way so that we run that road behind down behind the lake out mm -hmm. from Joyce Kilmer, mm -hmm. and then basically you just have a turning point. That's what they made us do in Cherokee this yeah. time, was go down and basically run around a cone and come back up the road. Uh, but do something like that and uh, well the swag bags that gives them a lot of incentive to eat and spend stuff here mm -hmm. because like about 10 percent off the lens yeah. I'm going there it's here instead of me yeah. driving and, and doing it out at Joyce Kilmer parking over at right or Ford or Joyce Kilmer or wherever mm -hmm. they're going to say oh wow this is wonderful I want to come back here and if they've got those coupons they might they might just yeah. come on Saturday and check in but they've got that coupon and hopefully it'll bring them back because hopefully we're going to be bringing people from Asheville and Waynesville and Not hopefully still. Keith will bring some from no. the Tennessee side. So, and it, it seems like we had decent results with our coupons when we yeah. did the... Yeah, mm -hmm. I was pleased with that. Well, you, you weren't here when we did that. For Yadis? Yeah. I think you did it for me. I was here for Yadis. Oh, you were? Uh -huh. Okay. That's yeah, the, that was our home. test study. Yeah, that was my first big group. And I think just as spendability, I think next time we won't really have to do the little prizes in it if we just do the bag of the coupons and then let all the other businesses put stuff in. Oh yeah, but everybody likes a little link bag. Yeah. yeah, I mean, but if we had to keep it cheap because we start doing a lot of these, yeah. it can add up company. Oh yeah, absolutely. We want to get Fontana all that money, you know, that's it. They but, got more money in there. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what he said? He says sponsorship is your backbone to these things. Yeah. yeah. So we, we, we go to the, some of the area businesses, especially the restaurants that make so much money, mm. places like that, you know, and just get coupons and, right. and even money for it. Are No, I'm picking at Billy. Uh, but no. Some of, I'm yeah. loving contracting. Us contractors, we can pitch in. All of us are busy. But even but that January 16th, you guys just did the sponsorship of that one. March is kind of far away. So, I mean, just getting the prep for that one if you wanted oh. to try that one. But, Tabitha, Tabitha, did we yeah. just not talk? Just got through talking about that. We're not benefiting off that, are we? It's going back out of the county, yeah, right? That's going to Bryce. Well, that's, that's part, going of, to that's part of the. Well, let's wait on Let's wait and let's do that. To me, I'm going to go to our own race. Our own race. Yeah. yeah. Or do the, the Fontana one. Yeah, yeah I've got it. At least it's in our county. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that uh, we'll do, the, do a minimum. Put our swag bags together right. and see what happens. Okay. And so we can get our information from there, like, yeah, we got some stuff. And right. Yeah. Now put that in the form of a motion. I'll make a motion that we uh, sponsor $500 to this Food RX Asheville for the Fontana race in March. March 5th, 2016. 
Upon Tango and Trail Race. Yeah. Do I get a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Good. Right. And then next page is the quotation for the maps, the Roads to Adventure map. I was asked to bring who has asked for Roads to Adventure map since our last meeting. Since our last meeting, we, we, me and Connie and I think Billy had kind of done an informal survey and, and all, most of our big guys still have lots of maps left. Mm -hmm. But you have a list of people that have called in and you're completely out. I'm not completely out, but we're you're we're having right. them out. We're, we're rationing them out. Yeah. 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 So anybody that's open full year round, they're not going to have. So you're trying to the ration problem too. We're not sticking. We're not sitting on the stop we used to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's put it that way. We used to come in and get seven cases at a time. We, we, we're getting one I or two. I give them one or two, and that's mm -hmm. it, because this is what we run into if people take too many. And look, it doesn't make want some back if we've got some extra. If you've got some back, and you, you know. We're not open until next year. Probably two know, boxes April. would help. Oh, I don't have boxes. Through. I've got maybe half a case. This will be an issue we need to bring up and deal with, but uh, on the rationing thing. Although we're going to a show in Indiana, Indiana so we'll need yeah. some for that. Mm -hmm. And right now, I wouldn't have any for you. And this is in our budget. I'll keep in mind. Okay, I will yeah. keep yours. Why don't we get a well, budget? It is in our budget. Let's go ahead and print this out. This is, this is it. Was a, it was supposed to be brought up in the meeting. It wasn't. We're trying not to try not do poll votes anymore. It got brought up in the poll, which is not the correct way to do it. So uh -huh. we can bring it up now because we are actually in a meeting. I make a and motion that have the call. What's the guy's name? You keep referring to him, and I cannot remember. David? David Dean. Call David and go ahead and order the twenty thousand for thirteen hundred fifty-eight bucks. How far does twenty thousand typically get us? Is that half a year? That's half a year, right? You do this twice a year. This. Usually yeah, it's in like, April, May. Okay. How many did I pick up when we went up there? You picked up like everything else we had. So at the no, I mean, how many of these measure, maps? Can I probably only got two or three more boxes. So. Well, you come up and got three at, at one time there, I know, and you got three to begin with. Yeah, but this it ends up being like, I don't know, 18 or 20 boxes, and they store them for free. Okay. So just as well, we need, need to at least get, get half of them, that way we're not having to worry about getting back up to actual yeah, I was up there three times last week. Uh, if we you get some, I can store some. Let's go ahead and get all of them brought in here, and that way we don't well, worry Ron about Ron Johnson them. is there every Thursday. Yep. Yeah, but they got to the point where they said they couldn't go by and get them for me, so that's why I was asking you sometimes. Let me know. She grabbed yeah. all. Yeah. I go about every two weeks to go to Asheville. So. I was there three times last week. Uh, when you <laughs> and I'm going yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, so I've got a, a motion on the floor from Ramonda. Do I hear a second? I'll Ron second. Fiber. Oh. Good. Get those ordered. How long will it take you to get them ready? Well, that the printing schedule I asked was at the day after the last meeting, so I really don't know where we'd be in the run, but we'd have enough time. We have, I don't know, six pads at the office. Mm -hmm. And if I really need some, since we're going to go ahead and order, I can ask John to well, give me hang on. I'll pay you back. When is, the Indiana, you. when is the Indiana trip? January. Oh, it's in the uh, end of February. Oh, yeah. Well, how many cases we passed out to these uh, when we get them? Like, for instance, I keep a log here of all the brochures that we pass out. Okay, because what I'm going to say is whenever we come down here to pick up some, we don't get but maybe three or four at a time. Right, that's what yeah. we've been trying to do with everybody. Well, wait a minute. Now, what I'm hearing now is somebody's got cases. <laughs> right. Right, okay. Some of the lodging partners, they got cases up. And I'm getting three or four pads at a time. So, Can I explain? Okay, explain this. Okay. Fontana Village Resort, the Fontana Dam. Just the Saturday after the 26th, they right. had 600 people at their visitors right. that day. Okay. Just that day. So they have pads at the at the lodge. They have pads at Wildwood Grill. They have pads at the pit stop. They have pads at the visitor center. Right. And they just go through a whole lot. It, it was just. A, it's but like I understand. You go through a lot too. Yeah, we do. 
Yeah. So why can't you pick up more than you're getting? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, just fashion them out a little more. So instead of uh, uh, four inch tall rice, you can buy, you know, we'll get you more. You can make seven tastes. You're talking about everybody else. Yeah, so pay on. Hey, so we're coming in. Yeah, 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 that's but you understand what I'm saying, though, right? The 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 no, 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 uh, Becky and I found this occupancy tax history that goes all the way back to 1988. We're going to go ahead and get it filled in with the other years as well so that you can see truly if we're up or down in a single month and what might have brought us to that level. So that hopefully we'll have that by next meeting. Okay. All right. Since we've already taken care of the uh, maps, the next thing is the winter hours. Uh, last year we did cut back the hours at the office mainly because Tabitha had a bunch of comp time. Uh, she doesn't have that much this time, this year, this year. But do we still want to cut back the hours? Who's coming? Are there people here? No. And we still have Kathy. But now you said Kathy could possibly be what, facing back surgery. Um, it's a in her hip area. We're not really sure what that is. If it's a pole or a uh, hernia or hip, but it's somewhere in the hip region. Problem from lifting mats. <laughs> Cases. Cases, that's right. Well, what are the job duties that need to get done this winter? That's what Sure, you know. Yeah. Well, to me, to get ready for spring, it's one of my busiest times because everything is, I have to take every event, clone it, and update all the dates, all the information, adjust the pictures, I have to get all the visit and see stuff up to date. I have to put in changes of hours and you know changes of product and uh, the website we're trying to work on, getting a few more pages added to that. And um, so to me, it's it's a housekeeping paper, pretty intensive. You actually don't get interrupted in the winter time, whereas in the summer there's people coming in and out all the time. In the winter we're talking to two people a day. After we find out what Kathy's going to be. Is yeah. that? Yeah, after. Is we that going to designate? Is that going to, uh, what I'm going to ask for? Look at it this way. We got the rest of December. December, January, and February is three months. Is that going to hold for three months? Is what going to hold? The work no, you're This work you're talking about. You're talking Plus Mary Ann. Like yeah, I didn't get my work done last year because I was off for a month. Yeah, but I, is that going to take three months to do all that? We're yeah. paying Mary Ann to do a lot of that stuff, too. Yeah. Well, she's just doing social media. There's a whole lot of stuff that has to get done. How many hours a week are we talking about? We're talking about 40 hours a week? Well, that's the thing. I'm trying to figure out if you guys are looking like my family depends on my salary. So if you cut back my hours, you're basically saying that you're putting me seasonal on, and I wouldn't be making the amount of money that I've made. I've scheduled my family budget around $35,000 on paint. So are you looking to, and also Kathy has her hours established that we don't pay for, but if she doesn't use them, then she loses them, and she won't stay with us because she needs to make money. When will so we know about her back surgery? November 30th. November 30th. It's one just table this, and that's meet the tent. That way we'll know about her back surgery, if she's going to have to be out, not be out, all this other stuff. Yeah. Because we've got some unknowns right now, so I hate to make any decisions without knowing about her. Well, let me, okay, I understand it. And I, I'm sympathetic with that part and stuff like that, too. But I've worked construction all my life. And the thing about it is, I'm working. I figured out by time and stuff like that, when they come to December, they didn't keep me and stuff on the job until when the job is over with. Yep. Whether I made Christmas or not, whether I got laid off or whatever. And the but the thing about it is, I'm wearing stuff like this. Or I'm sympathetic to that part of wearing stuff like this. But we're in the business of our tap. When we come to this meeting, when I come to this meeting, I'm going to tell you right now. Okay. We're trying to save money, progress along with stuff like this. If we're trying to help, we're trying to help save money in this. Travel tourism budget and stuff like that. 
you've got to help us too whenever it comes time to the end of the meeting. Well, do we want to donate $500 of this over here? Do we want to spend more money to the end of this over here on the budget? You need to help us. Oh, I am. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you, need, you need to help us. But don't come back in here. Or do we want to spend this much more money? Because if we got this much more money, we can save it here where we can spend it here where well, we see operating costs. You understand I, what I'm saying? I, I operating what you're costs. Saying, yeah. But the state of North Carolina says that the money that we collect, which this past year was right. $187,000, right. one third of it goes towards projects and two thirds of it goes towards marketing and advertising. Right. And it has to be spent. Okay, uh, but what I'm looking at, but, but what I'm looking at, what I'm looking at is project, is the travel tourism bill, and that right there is one of the projects. When I come on board over here, we have it. We've been paying rent. We've been paying this. When we we put money somewhere else, and we we build a nice place in this Towards county for somebody here to for one fifty. Yes. We collected one eighty-seven. Right. And we have twenty-five thousand dollars. Yeah, but that's still in your paper. Everything is. It's not going to, but we are making strides, and that's yeah, what we're. Yeah, but if we keep trimming it, are you thinking we're going to pay for the building up front and not have to take no. out a loan? No. I know no, we got to pay for the, the land and that's going to deplete uh, all yeah. of our reserves. So yes. Everything that we've got saved up right now and our contingency fund will have to go pay for that land. The thing is, it's nothing personal. We're pleased with the work you're doing. We understand you've got a lot to do. But for one thing, we have been made ambassadors of the accommodation fund money. And oh, these, these, are things uh, are very, these are things we're hearing the from them. Yeah. You know. Why do we need somebody in there during these slow times when there's not a lot going on? And well, I, if anybody would like, I can start printing off history logs so you can see what I'm doing. Computers capture what you do every single day. It doesn't go away. If I need to start forwarding that to you guys so you can see what I'm doing, I don't have a problem with that. Are you not going to be anywhere near 35000 with these hour cutbacks? Is that, is hey, that I, do, I don't do comp time anymore. I'm not allowed. There is no yeah. comp time. Yeah, we're, we're done with comp time. Right, that's what I'm saying. So there's there's no no time time right. uh, like I said, I don't know. Today's what the 19th. Our next meeting. The 10th. The 10th. Honey, we're discussing so, the, just, the hours at the office, and she so told us that Kathy's looking at possibly having to have surgery. That's fine. So, so that may change. To table this and and that she table. talked to me about possible hip replacement, mm -hmm. and, and she hasn't indicated when that was coming. Well, yeah. Billy, Billy suggests that we just table, table this till we find out meeting. what's going on with Kathy. And our next meeting will be December tenth. So that'll be twenty days. And, and Tabitha's got a day off for Thanksgiving, and then she's going yeah. to Berea for the that thing. So for what thing in Berea? Uh, it's something that the great is great foundations paying for everything, and it's the so third it's that time you're supposed to be in the office. Yes, ma'am. And then, do we need her in the office or do we not? Well, not really right now because it's so slow. That's the whole issue. That's the whole issue. I have to have schedule for those days when I'm out. But does anybody need to be there? What days are those, Kevin? It'll be Monday through Thursday. Yeah. It's on, on the back of the agenda. She's put it on her phone. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm reading the law. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> but Kathy will be there. And see, that's that's our point. We've got Kathy that's saving us a lot of money. And again, it's nothing personal. It's business. No, but I hope you can see each of the years we've collected more money. And that's because some of the social media relationships, partnering, and that's what's made our, because it was pretty, you know, this, this was pretty flat. It wasn't growing a lot, but we made, you know, Becky just said it's the highest amount of collection she's ever seen since she had the office. No, 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 no. We're getting back to where we were. Right, yeah. right. When we first came on. No, 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 no. It's yeah. not the highest we've yeah. ever been. And that well, number is huge. Let's see. Let's keep that at that point. 180 to 200, weren't we? Well, and in the mm -hmm. years ago, we got the cabins. The cabins are bringing us in over 30 grand. So. How are we doing? 30,000 marks on top of that number. With regard to a lot of the accommodation people that are not paying, are we pursuing them? 
I mean, are we? Yes. Uh, are we in this That's why we have to set part of that process. audit process that takes so much time. What What are the excuses that people give when they say that you know? Are they just saying that they're not renting their properties? Some people are saying, well, we didn't rent it more than 15 days per month, and I mean, uh, yeah, per month until now, per year till now. There was oh, one lady year. that actually said, I don't want to be bothered with that. I just thought, I'd, you know, I just didn't have to do it. Mm. Um, there's some we're, people that are just we're defined. Step. We need to the next meeting or what we want to do with it? Because I make most of my table up to the 10th. Find out what Kelly, yeah, that's yeah. fine. That's fine. All in favor? Uh, Who was the second? I'll second it. <clears throat> okay, here's the wall. I want the money to be used for, and here's the rest of it. Oh, my bus is in the car. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Thank you. I have extra. <laughs> okay. You need some? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, use of the tax revenue, this is the occupancy tax revenue, um, except for Durham County, a taxing county shall place revenue collected from the occupancy tax living under this act in a special travel and tourism fund. Revenue in this fund may be used only to promote travel and tourism in the county. That's the only stipulation, except that there was uh, legislation in 1993, this was 87, that says uh, two thirds of the first 3% of the occupancy taxes will be spent on the promotion of travel and, and tourism and the remaining one third on uh, tourism related expenditures. And that's where we get the one third to go for administrative administration, salaries, et cetera, et cetera. That's the law. And I just carry that with me everywhere I go because I, I cannot yeah. quote. I knew there was no mention of projects. Well, I guess that's all of it. Right now, uh, any other business? Yeah. When is it that you're going to read? Um, I think Rick said we leave Mon uh, Monday, November 30th at the end of the day. So I'm not sure if that's like a three or five. And then we're back on Thursday. So on the back also, um, I put that on there at your request on the back of the agenda. Let me just just leave it at the water together. The back of the agenda, not the minutes. It's the first page. Just on the back. Okay, will you be trying, uh, charging travel for this? No. Scholarship that's all paid for by Greg. Well, the scholarship that Greg got, not Greg. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Connie, um, another thing, the second to the last page is the um, thing on those races, this whole package you yes, got. Yes, Uh-huh. The whole, yeah, the whole package you put together. Right. Is the thing from uh, Aaron at FoodRx and actual about the three races they're going to be doing. Okay. Did you get the resolution for us to sign regarding Wiltmore Wilderness Land in this case? Yes. 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 And everybody signed it? Yes. Do we need to? Okay. 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 Connie, what we decided to do was uh, the, the heart and soul of these races is in the sponsorship. Yes. So we're going to give $500, which is the minimum we can give, and we're going to put that into the Fontana race, which is technically, legally the only one in the county right. that, is that we feel like we'd benefit from. It. Is that the, That's the March one, the second one? Yeah. We voted to put 500 there. And, yeah, then, and, and if you need volunteers for that, if there's anything I can do as a volunteer, I'd be glad to do okay. that. I don't know okay. much about this race yet. So. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. oh, sorry. Just remember I said that you can work out. Oh, yeah. 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 It's and right. the, the school kids that run uh, cross country <coughs> and uh, track, uh -huh. uh, mm -hmm. Megan is a big runner. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like to help out too. Good. Maybe they can help. All right, great. They can always glean information. And then, Connie, on the very last page is the quote from the guy on the maps. We voted to go ahead and, since it is in the budget and we are out of maps, we voted to go ahead and get okay. those published. That was Rolanda the first, John the second, you know. And um, in town, and I had a short discussion about that when she called me about it. And of course, I went around to the people to see where you were. Yeah, I saw you that day. Um, but we did, we did agree that we will not do call votes. If did we, we have an emergency, did we have the minutes? We, if we have an emergency, we'll call an emergency. Did we ever no, vote to amend our bylaws and put that in our bylaws? Don't we need to do that? We no, did. Uh, actually, Beck, we, we don't have to. It doesn't. He doesn't have to be there to make it legitimate because the board is directing no help funds. Okay. Do we want to make a move the motion on that so it gets in the minutes? Yes, or? we do. Okay. And the other thing is Becky is helping me with the wording on the the rules of procedure regarding the poll vote. Okay. Okay. We're looking for the statute. <laughs> okay. So I make a move that as a board we no longer use poll votes no. at all. Oh. Right. And hear that? I make a move as a board, as a whole, we no longer use poll voting. So moved. All in favor? Okay. All right. If if we have an emergency come up, then we certainly will call an emergency okay. meeting. So do we want to put in, unless in case of emergency? No. no. Oh, what happened emergency meeting? Mm -hmm. Okay, emergency meeting. They're working on that wording. They're going to yeah. get to okay. it. Yeah, actually, the statute, we know the statute says this. If you have a poll vote, and it is a contract, it is null and void. So there's no point doing things that can't be questioned later and get us in a lot of trouble. So we're just not going to do that. Okay, with that all. Okay, do I hear a motion to adjourn? Okay.